Hi, I'm Mahesh Jairaman, acupressure therapist, health counselor, and co-founder of Sepalika.com. The National Institutes of Health, NIH, estimates that a third of adults in the US get less than seven hours of sleep a night. Nearly 12 to 18 million Americans suffer from sleep apnea, a severe form of snoring that leads to chronic diseases if left unchecked. Productivity loss due to poor sleep is estimated at $5 billion annually. Why is sleep so important to health? While the world's leading sleep researchers will themselves tell you that it's a phenomenon that we barely understand 50% of yet, here are some startling yet scientifically proven reasons why sleep is vital to our health. Reason number one, toxic cleanup. Research continues to flow in on how sleep affects cleaning up of our body. One of the latest research studies shows that as we sleep, the brain cleans itself inside out, washing itself clean of debris that could otherwise lead to dementias, including Alzheimer's. If you want to avoid losing memory or falling prey to Alzheimer's, the one thing you must do is pay more attention to your sleep. Reason number two, weight loss. Sleep is crucial if you want to lose weight. Research shows that during sleep, our bodies secrete hormones that help to control appetite. Remember, I tell this to all my patients. The human body has not been upgraded for 10,000 years at least as we know it. So it does funny things that are still based upon what it knew from back then. So for human beings 10,000 years ago, Chronic stress could only happen as a result of a natural calamity like a famine. Otherwise, we all led a nice stress-free life. So today, when you lose sleep and it leads to excess secretion of stress hormones like cortisol in the body, your body is tricked into thinking that you are in the middle of a famine. This in turn signals to the body that it must retain fat since who knows where your next meal is coming from. So if you're trying to lose that spare tire around your waist, you have to first start sleeping better. Reason number three, to avoid chronic disease. People who have poor quality of sleep are at much greater risk for chronic diseases like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and even depression. Several people who sleep poorly also often suffer from obstructive sleep apnea and this is a condition that can deprive the patient of oxygen several times during the night, resulting in serious health issues. There are several ways to get rid of snoring and we have a podcast dedicated to just that, so make sure you look that up. There are so many advantages to good sleep, but I figured that I would leave that for later and give you a few crazy sounding but true ways to get better quality sleep. For this podcast, I'm going to give you just three. Number one, get at least 20 minutes of sunlight, preferably in the morning. Your brain has a rhythm timer that needs to sync with the sun through blue light that comes from the sun itself. You may not be able to perceive it since it's often ultraviolet, but trust me, it's there. Similarly, one hour before bed, stop all blue light exposure. This usually comes from electronic screens like your TV set or the LED lights in your house or even your cell phone screen. By eliminating blue light exposure in the evening, your brain knows that there's no sun in the sky and that it's time to sleep, so it winds down naturally. Number two, get at least 30 minutes of contact with the earth. It's called grounding, do it every day. The earth too has rhythms that can soothe our bodies and minds. You can do this by just standing barefoot on earth or hooking up with an earthing mat or a mattress. Hack number three, put your cell phone on airplane mode. This is an absolute must. We all think we need the phone on all night in case someone needs to reach us for an emergency. Well, guess what? Your brain's sleep patterns are deeply disturbed by the cell phone signal. Invest in a landline if you must, but your cell phone must go on to airplane mode. So go ahead, get some serious sleep so you can do your health some serious good. Wish you vibrant health and well-being.